I'm Racers Marshall Pruitt. Gonna show you today AeroScreen 2.0. We're getting half of it introduced here to open the 2024 IndyCar season. The titanium halo, that upper frame as IndyCar calls it, that is being mandated for all cars to start the year. Once we get into the middle of May, that being the Indianapolis Grand Prix, that is when the series has said, you know, that's where we're gonna bring in the other part of this 2.0 upgrade, that being a thinner laminate from PPG. So let's talk about these two. These things were tested during some of the hybrid runs during summer and more testing after that. Really big difference you can see here on the screen, that being vents at the top. So we're bringing in greater amount of cooling for the drivers. For those that we spoke with, we're going to hear from Will Power here in just one moment. Absolutely love that development. They also tried a new and larger inlet towards the bottom of the screen at the front. That apparently didn't have much effect, so we haven't seen that carried forward into what's coming. We're dealing with, granted, it's raining right now, which is nice. So we're getting soaked from rain. Earlier we were soaked from sweat because it was 90 something degrees, crazy yeah. humid. As well, you were testing some of the new vents that might be coming next year with the right. air screen. How did that feel? Did that uh, help you in the cockpit? It did, yeah. We, we had them open, then we blocked you know, different ones at different times to see which ones were the most effective. And then, yeah, they, were, they certainly cool you. <laughs> I mean, it's the best case scenario for the temperature we have here. And even the rain, like, you know, what, how these vents, vents in the rain. So, um, good stuff. Definitely some good stuff there, you know, constantly improving and... Um, I can see the gears working. You yeah. got a lot of good feedback to give IndyCar for sure. Pankel, the maker of the titanium upper frame, that halo, some new manufacturing techniques, been able to carve 7.2 pounds off of this second iteration of that. And then for PPG, with the laminate itself, what they've done is say, you know, we tried nine millimeters. That's been the thickness that's been used since this was introduced here in 2020 at St. Petersburg. We're going to try a six millimeter laminate for road and street courses. So six millimeter, by the way, is the thickness of the windscreens you see on prototypes in IMSA and the WEC. So it's not a thin or absolutely different structure than you would expect to see. This is something that's been used for quite a while in other forms of racing and it has certainly defended those drivers with any kind of materials coming back their way. But you think about what is happening here, they've said we're going to let you do the thinner six millimeter laminate for road and street courses. We're going to stick with the thicker nine millimeter because we know that works on the super high speed ovals, things getting fired into it at 230 miles an hour. We're not going to change that. Series did tell me they're going to see how things go this year and if they feel confident enough with how the six millimeter thinner one performs on the road and streets year or two down the road they might just make that the one and only version that gets used but you look at those vents right those vents are really cool you do protrude into the cockpit a little bit indycar wanted to make sure that if we have a crash a driver's hands might come off the wheel move around didn't want anything super hard and rigid that might hurt their hands so it's made out of a, a rubberized plastic actually made out of a type of bean, which I think is pretty cool, but uh, it is something that indeed ducks air back to the driver, puts more onto their helmet, more onto their chest, cools them from this brand new top venting structure, but the material itself, which is 3D printed, not something that can really hurt a driver if they happen to move around and touch it while in an accident. So smart move by IndyCar, nine millimeter, six millimeter, lighter frame, 3D printed stuff as well, made from beans. Uh, pretty cool stuff happening here with AeroScreen 2.0.